Hey guys, welcome back to the Blue Jay series. Uh, this is lesson six, and I guess the title is kind of self-explanatory. We're going to be talking about the if statement. So if you recall in the previous uh, video, we talked about how a user can be prompted a, you know, some sort of uh, a number, and then we essentially just spit out whatever the user gave us. In this video, we're going to be talking about the if statement. Uh, the if statement is kind of straightforward. It's similar to how we use it in our normal, in the English language. Um, so if a certain condition is fulfilled, then do the following line. And that's really how it works. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the if statement. So the else if statement, which is kind of similar, and then the else statement. So they all kind of go together. So let's just go um, and figure out how we can uh, introduce the if statement into this. So in the first line, user, please tell me how much money you have. Uh, so the user gives it to us. So let's say I introduce the if statement here. So if, and then the syntax for that is just a bracket. So money, money is our variable, our integer variable that our, the user gave us. So if this variable, if this money is greater than uh, let's say five or let's just say a hundred or something whatever it is uh, then so if this condition is met then do the following line and in order to sort of uh, define that it's the squiggly brackets um, so if this condition is met then do whatever is between these squiggly brackets uh, so if money is greater than a hundred, uh, let's just do uh, you're rich. So you're rich. Um, but then what if money is not greater than a hundred? So we're going to have to define that. And so in order to do that, we do the else if statement. So the syntax is just else if bracket. So let's go for if else if money is equal to let's just go for a hundred um, say money is equal to a hundred if money else if money is equal to a hundred and then squiggly brackets and just note that in these conditions so first of all note you don't need a semicolon here secondly the in the else if condition you have two equal signs in the Introducing the variable, you have, you just have one equal sign. Okay, so this is for conditions. Else, if money is equal to hundred, uh, let's just do system dial print line. You got a hundred. You got one hundred dollars. Okay, and then we'll and then the last statement I want to tell you, uh, introduce you guys to is the else statement. So the else statement does not have some sort of a condition like the other two have. The else statement is just whatever else there is, right? So else, um, let's just do system.outprintline. So, oh no, you are poor. So if we can just go step by step with what how this works, if this condition is met, if money is greater than 100, type in you're rich, okay? Else if money is equal to 100, then type in or prompt out you have $100. Else, meaning whatever else, meaning it could be $99, it could be $80, it could be $1, it could be $0. Else just type in, oh no, you're poor, okay? And you could do these else if statements as many times as you want. I think we'll go into that in the next video, just how to play around with these uh, else if and else statements. But in this video, let's just keep it simple. So we'll compile that. Let's see how it works, okay? So let's just compile this and uh, play it out. So please tell me how much money you have. So let's say I have $200. Okay, great. I'm rich. Uh, let's try that again. And let's do that equal to $100. You got $100 exactly. Okay? And then else if, or else, is just whatever else it is. So it could be $99. Oh, no, you're poor. 
Um, but it doesn't have to be nine nine. It could even be two dollars. Oh no, you're poor. So the else statement is just whatever else, uh, whatever else there is. Okay. I think in the next video we're just gonna keep going with the if and the else if statements and play around with them a little bit, um, because I think that there's a lot of potential and with what you could do with this statement, um, and it'll really help in the future. You know, as you go along. Uh, Blue Jay and, and do even more complicated stuff. Okay. Thank you guys. See you guys in the next video